he just said it's gonna be easier going up. I will say, at least it's beautiful. Today is our last day in Greece and we are spending our morning at the same exact breakfast place that we have the past three days because it is just that good. Alright, so for our last breakfast in Greece, we have Greek coffee, we have yogurt with fruit, walnuts, and honey, which is divine. We had it yesterday, creatures of habit, and a butter croissant. Buddy. Don't have collars. Bubbly. We hot. <laughs> How did you get in here? Are you stuck? Oh my we're just chilling at the Airbnb. <laughs> He's like not really sure. Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> probably doing? so hot. What are you guys doing? I'm in a cold porch. <laughs> We're gonna do a little shopping today. We love to collect little trinkets from places that we've been, so we're looking for something like that. And then they have so much pretty street art here that we're considering buying. We also have some wine we bought from the winery that we wanna ship home, so we may ship all this home. We've gotta figure that out. We just got a hand-painted piece of driftwood to take home. Or a piece of a door. Or a piece a of a door from a home. Um, she told us that because of the wind and the sun, the doors degrade over time here. People will change their doors out. This lady buys these door pieces and paints Greek scenery on it. Looks really pretty. It was really cool. Notice that this is the first like, tourist destination that has really good shops with really cool things. It's not absolutely it's not gimmicky souvenirs. I mean, they still have that, but a lot of it is very um, beautiful, local to the local culture. Art. Yeah, local jewelry. Just like shop after shop after shop of really cool stuff. Yeah, you see a lot. You know, every shop you pass, you think, "Oh, I'd like to buy that. I'd like to buy that." <laughs> so we are. <laughs> We're shuffling the worst today. I think our Airbnb host told us that today was gonna be the most crowded day for the cruises coming in that do like Greek Isle cruises. I believe it. So you may have noticed a lot of blue eye art and design in a lot of the shops that we've been in. And basically it's a very popular symbol in Greek culture to help ward off bad spirits and gives uh, protection for you. So that's why you see them everywhere in Santorini. Let's check in, our friends are still here. <laughs> Oh, 
So we wanted gelato and went to this place called Lolita's um, in Ia and they had iced cappuccinos that they were advertising with gelato and we thought you were going to get the iced cappuccino and the gelato but it's your gelato flavor of choice mixed in the cappuccino. It's really good. It's actually really good. Um, I got the straciatella and Cody has the peanut yep. lovers. It's, it's actually like a, really good. It's like coffee mm -hmm. gelato milkshake. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe this is our last night in Santorini. We are spending it walking down over 200 steps to a Moody Bay, which has a beautiful overlook of the boats and the ocean. And we're gonna eat at Dimitri's. We're starting the descent. You can see they're numbered. How many total, how many total steps? 230 something steps down to the a Moody Bay. And hopefully we don't die. The saving grace is that it's absolutely beautiful. Otherwise, I don't see who would do this. Oh, that makes sense. I don't mind that. It's cold anyway. He just said it's going to be easier going up. I will say, at least it's beautiful. <laughs> say this is a little man. scary. Flying into Not the gonna lie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh -huh. You have to use all your muscles to not fall because it's actually kind of slick. Ah! And I feel like we've made no headway. But I can't imagine going up. It's oh gonna my be gosh. Hellacious. That's why we need to drink wine at dinner. And the sun is beating on us. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It'll be better when the sun's not beating on us. I think I'm getting used to doing this now. This has been the most exhausting but breathtaking walk. I'm also low-key scared these donkeys are gonna kick me. Suck coming back up. Oh, wow. We arrived in Moody Bay a little early for our dinner reservation. It's hot, but it's beautiful. Hopefully, we get to see the sunset from our restaurant. We are at Dimitri's um, in the Moody Bay. Basically, they get all their fish fresh. You walk in, you can choose your fresh fish. It's laying on the ice in there, freshly caught. You pay per kilo. They ask you how you want it uh, served. And we ask for it to be steamed in garlic, oregano, and basil, I think. Um, we got the fresh grouper, as well as calamari. So as you walk up, you can see the octopus Trying out, freshly caught, um, so it's going to be really good. We got fried calamari. It smells amazing. Everything is caught and cooked to order. Oh my! Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. It's not like overly breaded to the point that you can't tell what it is. Too like a lot of seafood. Oh, oh man. Mm -hmm. mm. After our last sunset in Greece, time to go back up 236 stairs. All the way up there. Oh no. Oh gosh. 
Oh, already climbed 40. I think that's the steepest part right there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. You can do it. You can do it. This is 100% worse going back up. Oh. Oh, still beautiful though. Thanks. You good? Yeah. Oh. 2.30. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. Feeling confident? If it was in full sun, there's no way. No, absolutely not. It's so humid though. Oh. We made it. It was rough every step of the way, but we made it. That was the roughest hike I think we have ever done. Ever. And we climbed, in yeah, and we hiked in Iceland. But we did it. We did it on the last night in Greece. Stairs, not quite as bad. How heavy is she? Hey. <laughs> oh no. So, if you couldn't infer, we are packing up. The travel day starts again tomorrow. We're heading to Scotland. And by tomorrow, I mean like. So we're just gonna take a mini nap. But it's gonna be a good day. We love a travel day, so that's okay. <laughs> Help me. Never any easier. So we are at. Where are we at? <laughs> I also smell donkey piss. 